Okay, so if you work in data analytics, um, in any of the visualization models out there, I'm talking about Power BI, Power Query, uh, Power Pivot, uh, Microsoft Access, or even Tableau, you're familiar with getting a database error. Okay, the database error I want to talk about today is an OLEDB or ODBC error. I got this one specifically in Power BI, and I'm going to talk about the details of this particular error. Getting an error in your visualization is extremely frustrating. So you've spent the time, you've put together a dashboard, uh, it works great, it visualizes the information that you want, and then you go to refresh your data, you pull in some fresh information from, um, from either Access or from an offline report, uh, and you put it down into the repository, the folder, hit refresh, and bam, hard stop, error, doesn't work. But first, I want to review exactly what is this OLEDB uh, and ODBC. So let me refresh my memory here. This is Object Linking and Embedding Database or Open Database Connectivity Error. Um, so these are the underlying technologies that communicate between your data sets and your visualization um, in order to pull all the information together. And what this error is saying is there's something wrong um, with the structure of that information that it expects to receive in order to add it into your visualization. So yeah, when you get this error, there's a couple of obvious things you need to check. Um, you check your data source, you take a look at your um, consistency of the data. Um, oftentimes, depending on how you've got it set up within the system, it's looking for a very specific file name. Uh, it could be looking for a very specific tab name within, if it's Excel file, for example, uh, specific tab names, and then the file structure. So within the, um, the Excel report, if you've got different columns, if it's changed, if it's not an exact standard report, um, you could get this error. So my background, um, working with Power BI uh, for my job, uh, my previous assignments, i uh, spent a lot of time doing visualizations. Um, I also went to a course at the University of South Carolina. It was the Advanced Business Analytics course. We took a look at um, a lot of Power BI visualizations. Uh, we learned database management. So uh, the specific error I'll walk through today is one that is still confusing to me. I'm not exactly sure um, why uh, I'm getting it, really. But I have figured out a way to solve the problem and uh, remove the error. So in my case, I'm pulling in data from multiple Excel files that I've got on a, um, a specific folder on the hard drive. And what I would do is I would download data from uh, credit card reports by month or you know every couple months, drop them in the folder, and then refresh my, my visualization. So in this case, I downloaded the report, I opened the Excel file, I saved as a new file name in the folder that I've got referenced in Power BI. And as soon as I did that and I refreshed my report, I received an error. After a lot of trial and error to figure out what was causing the problem, I believe the fact that I opened the Excel file, did the save as to the folder caused the problem. If I download the file directly from uh, the website, move it into the folder, I don't get the error. Okay, so here on the screen, I'm gonna just walk through uh, my Power BI dashboard real quick. Open up the, uh, the file. Okay, and so you can see this is, um, this is broken out by category. I've got subcategory, uh, and I'm pulling in my data from a lot of different sources, the Amex credit cards, Barclay credit cards, and then a, a Costco credit card. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the details of the relationships here, but um, as you can see, I've got a calendar set up to kind of keep all the dates in alignment. Uh, I've got some transaction details. This standardizes my categories and my subcategories. Uh, and then I've got all the information getting pulled in from, from my credit cards. And then also I've got a manual bill spreadsheet that I've, that I've put together. Okay, 
Uh, but the problem came when I when I dropped the new data. from here, you can see I've got 15 files in my uh, credit card folder, and Power BI is pulling directly from the folder. Okay, so here I wanna show on the screen again um, the Excel file. So this file here, Activity 2, is the one that I just downloaded from my uh, credit card account. And if I open it up, I can show you this is an Excel file. Uh, it has all the transactions in it, in this case for the month of March. Okay, if I open up this file, uh, this is one that's on the current folder that's working fine. There's nothing, nothing wrong with it. Same thing, same format. Uh, the tab is named Transaction Details. Uh, the number of columns is the same. Everything you normally check, it goes through M. Uh, and I'm running some scripts once I download it to, um, to like remove the headers and different things like that. But again, going through M, exact same data. Where it goes off the rails is if I open um, the activity and I go and do a save as. And let's just put it right into the credit card one, as mentioned. And I'm going to rename it as Amex March. Just say Amex. March. Okay, and it's an Excel. Hit save. Okay, got it. Save down there. And I'm going to close that out. I'm going to go back into Power BI and I'm going to hit a refresh with that file using Save As. Hit the refresh here. And let's see if we get an error. Bing, there it is. Um, so this is the same one I've been getting every single time. Uh, column 14 of the table was not found. So I went through and I looked. Column 14 uh, is not a factor uh, in what I'm doing. But if I simply take that file back out, here it is. Let's move it out of here. Put in the file that I didn't change. This is the one I just downloaded, Activity. Move it in there. All right, let's rerun my refresh. And we'll see. Bam. No error. <laughs> so there you go. That's what I'm talking about. I have no idea. I cannot tell that there's any difference between these two files. So we move this back out. Let me check the properties here. There's the property of the raw file, if you will. Here's the properties of the saved as file. Okay, so let's see here. They're both Microsoft Excel. I will say that there's a difference, a slight increase in the number and the size here, eight kilobytes for the unsaved version, 16 kilobytes for the saved as. So I don't know if it's adding some additional information into the Excel file that is throwing it for a loop. Uh, but anyway, if you got any ideas, yeah, let me know. Uh, but for now, my fix is just to not do a save as and just copy it into the folder and rename it within the folder. Renaming it is fine, it doesn't, doesn't give an error. Okay. So, uh, so there you have it. That's uh, how I was able to correct that error in my uh, Power BI visualization. Uh, the best advice I can give you if you're working on a new model and you're importing additional data to it is be methodical. And um, if you do come across an error, take your time and backtrack, uh, work your way backwards uh, to troubleshoot it and determine what the, what the causal factor was. So uh, best of luck with Power BI, your visualization tool of choice.